welcome. You're watching Next IS English Species in News, where we are going to cover all the important species that have been in news and we are going to talk about them in great detail. The first species that we are going to cover today is white cheeked partridge. Now, the white cheeked partridge, let's talk about that. So, recently, white cheeked partridge was there in news because it was rescued near the Dehing Patkai National Park. And this national park is in Assam. And we are going to look at the white cheeked partridge, a shy ground dwelling bird, recently rescued in this national park. Scientifically, it's known as Arborophila. Atrogularis and moving forward, let's understand about the species more. Uh, so about the white cheeked partridge, it is a species of partridge in the family of Phasianidae. Habitat is it inhabits dense undergrowth in primary and secondary evergreen forests. This sometimes includes the adjacent areas of scrub, bamboo, grassland, and cultivated land as well. In, this is limited to northeast India, northern Myanmar, and parts of Bangladesh. But unfortunately, habitat loss from deforestation and hunting pressure threaten its survival sometimes. And it is currently classified as a near threatened by IUCN. While discussing this, you can also ask uh, to reflect on why ground feeding species face greater risk than canopy dwellers do. Moving forward, let's talk about the second species for today, which is an Anegris lopezi. Anegris Lopezi is the second species that we are going to talk about, which is a biologically controlled wasp. Now, in this slide, this slide will highlight the role of Anigurus Lopezi, which is a tiny parasitic wasp credited with saying South India's Tapoika fields from the invasive cassava mealy bug. Despite its small size, this wasp is a highly specialized neutral enemy. The female lays its eggs inside a mealy bug and once the larvae hatch, they consume the pest from the inside, eventually killing it. Moving forward, we let's talk more about the species. This makes the method extremely eco-friendly, avoiding chemical pesticides and protecting beneficial insects. After being released, these uh, parasitoids naturally disperse up to 30 to 40 kilometers, expanding their control zone on their own. And the wasp was brought uh, from IITA in Benin, where it had already proven successful against the same pest. It intro the introduction, its introduction played a crucial role in restoring cassava yields and farmer livelihoods. This example beautifully demonstrates how biological control can work more effectively and sustainably than chemical interventions do. Moving forward, let's talk about the third species, which is Indian scops. Owl. Now, this has been in news because in a rare and remarkable discovery, bird watchers recently recorded the first ever sighting of Indian scops owl near the Daroji Sloth Beer Century in Karnataka. So, these were seen in the Daroji Sloth Beer Century. Let's know more about the species. The owl is small, measuring up to ab about 17 to uh, 20 centimeters with a wingspan of around 45 centimeters and has a compact body with a distinct round head. Its large bright yellow eyes make it highly effective nocturnal predator. The owl's fluffy feather feathers provide insulation and enable silent flight, allowing it to hunt insects and small prey without even alerting them. Its brown and grey plumage patterned with stripes and spots blends perfectly with tree bark, helping it remain hidden during the day. And distributed across India, Pakistan, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka and Iran. And this species adapts to forests, or forests, orchards, scrublands and even semi-urban uh, areas as well. Uh, though listed as least concerned by the IUCN, it's seldom seen due to its camouflage and nocturnal habits. You may invite the audience to recall hearing soft, uh, soft sounds and call it night. It could very well have come from this bird. So moving forward, let's talk about another one of today's species, Hygrocybe 
Pellucida. Now, Hygrocybe Pellucida, let's talk about this. Recently, Hygrocybe Pellucida, a rare fungi species, was cited for the first time in Telangana's Kaval Tiger Reserve. And this has been seen in the Kaval Tiger Reserve. Let's, more, let's know more about the species. So, the species is a rare wax cap mushroom species. The, it comes from uh, the family of Hygrophoransae. And its genus is Hygrocybe. Distribution is among Europe, North America, East Asia. Asia and in India, the parts of Kerala and Telangana, which is Kaval Tiger Reserve, where it has been seen. The, mostly it lives in uh, its habitat is moist grasslands, mossy forest floors, and nutrient poor soils. The indicate it is an indicator of clean, undistributed ecosystems, undisturbed ecosystems, and the appearance. It looks like orange reddish cap, uh, glossy, translucent pellucida, and which is like something like this and look it looks are wavy gills so let's talk talk about its role what does it do so it is a decomposer it is very important bioindicator of healthy soil so wherever this is you can uh, assume that the soil there is very healthy and it is very significant it highlights hidden fungal diversity and supports conservation studies as well moving forward to the next species it is the next species is atlas moth now uh, atlas moth has been in news why let's understand why just a minute atlas moth is one of the largest moth in the world wingspan 25 centimeters plus it is 10 inches its scientific name is Atacus atlas it comes from the family of satin and day the, the distribution of this atlas moth is in Nepal, any in northeastern India, Bangladesh, Bhutan, uh, southeastern China, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Taiwan, and the habit it lives in tropical and subtropical rainforests. Especially, it is cultivated for uh, fagra silk, and this is like the uh, kind of silk that only this atlas moth uh, makes, which is coarse and woolly silk. Females are larger than males, so this atlas moth, uh, they, the females are larger than the males, male parts. Wings show brown, orange, white, pink patterns with the transparent window patches. So there are window patches as well. Uh, you might have seen in the uh, picture which was shown. The adults lack functional mouth parts and they cannot eat. So they lack functional mouth parts as well. And the lifespan of this atlas is only... 14 to 18 days the main purpose is is mating and reproduction is the main purpose of the atlas and its nature grand design brief beautiful and ecologically meaningful so these were the most important species in news today in this week and thank you so much we have covered all the important species do let us know if this video was informative for you in the comment section below that's it for today i will see you in another video until then bye bye take care